Donald Trump is known for his campaign rallies, right? That's what became the hallmark of his 2015, 2016 presidential campaign. He did it all through his presidency. He was even doing some, you know, during COVID when he really shouldn't have been doing them. But this time around in his third run for president, not so much. In fact, according to the numbers, Donald Trump is only averaging two rallies per month in the, in the lead up to the 2020 election. Again, during COVID Trump was doing three a day, some days, three a day. And now it's just two per month. And there's reasons, right? I mean, he's, you know, tied up in all these trials and the investigations and, you know, four different indictments in four different jurisdictions, not to mention the fraud trial that is currently ongoing. Uh, he actually has another trial that, that starts Monday, uh, in Colorado. So he's got a lot of stuff happening and let's be real here. His rallies, according to reports, cost about $2 million a piece to put on and Trump doesn't have a ton of money. I mean, I know it looks like he does, but he has actually blown through so much of his campaign cash fighting his legal problems. So, you know, the legal problems come back. So he's, he's low on money. It's a little hard, but there's a bigger reason. It's not just because he's running out of cash. It's not just because of the legal issues, because, you know, he could not show up at the New York trial, go do a rally if he wanted. Now, the real reason, and this was touched on in these reports, but, but not given, I think the credit it deserves. The real reason that Donald Trump is not doing rallies the way he used to is because nobody cares. Now I have done multiple segments over the last year showing video of people at Trump rallies that begin leaving the rally sometimes as early as 10 minutes into Trump's speech. And these are people who sat there in line for hours to hear him. And by the time he starts talking, they're like, all right, I'm, I'm done. I don't want to do this. I mean, they're in their full MAGA gear. These are diehard cult members. But once the leader actually starts talking up there on stage, they're like, dude, frick, man. Okay. The election was stolen. We get it. Oh, sleepy Joe, crooked Joe, crooked Hillary. Holy hell, man. Come out with some new material. You know, it's like you go see Jim Gaffigan and all he does is the hot pockets routine 20 times in a row. We get it. It's funny, but we also want to hear the new material. So that's kind of the situation that's happening with Donald Trump. Um, again, it's not just that he can't hold their attention. The legal problems do play a role in it. The financial stuff plays a role in it, but I think Donald Trump, and I've been saying this again for a year, he's lost a step when he does go off script he goes off script like crazy and people don't want to hear the crazy. People don't want to see it from their cult member. You know, as I've talked about in the last week and a half, he got distracted by a fly, then went on a rant about how you're not allowed to buy fly paper, which is just not true. <laughs> he got distracted by his own weird thought that the word us has the letters U S just like U S and everybody in the crowd was just kind of like, get your purse. We're getting the fuck out of here. You know, I, I mean, that's how people are reacting to this. Not to mention, he also recently went on a rant about McDonald's packaging for their burgers. He said, sometimes the packaging is six months old. What, what is that? What, who even cares about that? How do you even know it's six months old? It doesn't have a date on it, you idiot. But those are the weird, creepy, idiotic, stupid, deranged things that Donald Trump is saying at his rallies. So it's no wonder that he's not doing as many as he used to. He's older now. He's lost a step. He's not in great health, especially if he's still chowing down on McDonald's so much that he knows how old the rappers are. I mean, that takes a diehard McDonald's fan to be able to look at a McDonald's rapper and be like, nope, this thing's about eight months old. Spent three months on the shelves in the stock room. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, no, that's weird. People don't want to hear it. And rather than be embarrassed by having nothing but auditoriums, you know, a quarter of the way filled with his cult members, Trump has just decided to do fewer rallies, which means a little bit, not much, but a little bit less embarrassment for him. Hey everyone. 
this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.